Hey guys, welcome back to Algos Explained. My name is David Kim, and today we're going to go over an algorithm question. This one is level 6. Um, after having done it, I don't really think it's a level 6, so um, well, we're still going to be doing it together, but I will explain to you kind of, I mean, I think by the end of it you'll agree with me. But anyways, this is JavaScript. Um, let's go ahead and get to it. Create phone number. This one is write a function that accepts an array of 10 integers between 0 and 9 that returns a string of those numbers in the form of a phone number. So pretty much um, all we have to keep in mind is that the input is going to be an array and the output is going to be a string uh, in this format, this exact format. And so that kind of, anytime they ask us to create something of an exact format, um, I feel as if that's kind of like one of the, one of a, it's like a, a signal that it's going to be kind of easy because all we need to do is kind of morph the, Output, of course, I mean, if we had to do a lot of things to the input to make it look like the output, then that would be difficult. But in this case, all we have to do is we we need to just read this array. That's it. That's literally it. And um, the return format must be, uh, must be correct in order to complete this challenge. Don't forget the space after closing the parentheses. And so um, all they care about is that it's in, the, it's in reading order, pretty much. Um, one, two, three. And that's the zip code, four, five, six. Uh, 7890 and it's not like they're kind of the reason why I don't think this is a really a level 6 question I feel like this is more of a level 8 actually is because um, they're not really making us do too much other than kind of taking the input and formatting it the way they want us to and so I'm uh, I solved this question already and so I'm pretty much just gonna paste the solution that I have and here we go this is kind of exactly what needs to happen for in order for every all the test cases to pass and even given, um, there's only three test cases. And so I don't know if you checked out my other video of creating a problem on Code Wars. Um, I did a video about that and there was a follow-up video to that that kind of dealt with issues that people flagged when um, it was still in the beta stages. And I think it's still in the beta stages, but um, one of them were kind of, you don't have enough random cases. And I think this is a good example of um, one of these questions that maybe was created a long time ago before the the standard of creating random cases were created and so um, but even if it was it's a pretty simple question all we need to do is we need to read this array and we don't even need a for loop um, I see that they tag loops in here so maybe they were expecting us to kind of go through it they tag regular expressions maybe they want us to do that um, but honestly, all we need to really do is, because they want it in a specific format, because we know that they're only going to give us 10 integers every single time, um, then all we need to do is tap into the indexes of these numbers and kind of return it as the, the string that we want it to. And of course, this is kind of coercing these numbers into, into strings as we read them out, because um, if we tap into this index of this array, it's actually going to be an integer. And what happens is it turns into a string because it's getting um, kind of added with the strings of kind of these parentheses. Um, they say, don't forget the space, kind of, uh, they gave us a easy hint on that too. What could have maybe tripped some people up for a second. But other than that, it's pretty simple reading these numbers. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's any more to um, explain about this one. Pretty much, we're returning the string. We have these parentheses, the first three numbers in here, closing the parentheses. And I just uh, I cut these off and entered into a new line just to create a better formatting. Um, we have the dash here for this dash. And that's pretty much it. We have the last four numbers here. And so that's going to be it for this one, actually. If you guys... Um, or I think I already submitted it, but let's go ahead and submit final just to show you that it goes through. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, um, go ahead and check out my other videos. The This is the first time where I thought, okay, a level is not really a good representation of what it really is. So um, yeah, if you guys liked it, comment, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.